Some big news here. Clay Harris has announced that he will no longer be competing in the Hunt the Front series. Instead, he will be chasing Rookie of the Year for the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at John Trent Racing. Harris posted this after a rough weekend with the Hunt the Front Series at Alltech Raceway down there in Florida. He posted this on Facebook. He said, another weekend of bad luck was running six Friday night, got spun, which ended our night. Saturday got behind because of a valve cover gasket and only got one qualifying lap. Started 14th, got to 10th in the rubber. We are deciding not to run the Hunt the Front Series and taking up running for Rookie of the Year in the Luke Soil Series. As of now, we are 12th in the points. He's referring to the Luke Soil Late Model Dirt Series. And leading the rookie points, next stop will be Georgetown, Delaware, Hagerstown, Maryland, and Port Royal Speedway next weekend. I believe that's the 26th, 27th, and 28th of April. What is really interesting about this is that Harris had announced back in January that he was committing to run the full schedule for the Hunt the Front series. He posted this January 15th. As we announce our commitment to the Hunt the Front Super Series, I'm also releasing our full schedule for 2024. I'm sure we will be adding some races here and there as the year goes on. But as of now, this is what I got. And then obviously you can see that full schedule right there. Obviously, I think things have changed because he will now be chasing rookie of the year for the Lucas Oil Lake Mile Dirt Series. And I really think his performance in Hunt the Front for those first three races um, was a determining factor. He did not qualify for the first race at uh, Talladega. Uh, the, at the Talladega short track, you can see here he finished fifth in the B feature. He did qualify for the two races at for the two feature races at Alltech. Obviously, he had a really good starting position uh, for the first feature, uh, fin starting in fifth. But obviously, uh, as you noted there, he got spun out and ended up finishing in 22nd. So 17 position loss there. And then um, the second night started in 14th, moved up four spots to finish in 10th. Um, so I definitely feel like that performance definitely influenced his decision. I think that is pretty clear. And then his performance down at with the Luke Soil Late Mile Dirt Series during the Florida Speed Weeks in January and February probably influenced it as well. He currently sits in 12th, as he noted in that Facebook post. He competed in nine features and uh, had two top fives and three top tens. He's done better than... Um, some other drivers, such as Max Blair, who have competed in 14 features, or he has performed better than other drivers who have been in, in more features, such as Max Blair. Even Dennis Herb Jr., former champion, Drake Troutman, Ross Robinson, Boom Briggs, and uh, the killer Kyle Bronson. So uh, did really well down there during Florida Speed Weeks. We'll see if he can continue that as he moves forward with the Luke Soil Late Model Dirt Series as they kind of make a swing up into the Northeast there in Delaware, Maryland, and Pennsylvania. Uh, as for those two uh, top fives, they were at um, uh, Ocala Speedway on January 31st where he started third, finished second. I think that was a really good race. I think he, if our memory recalls, uh, he almost won that race, um, almost pulled it off but was unable to do so. And then um, second one was just a couple days later, February 3rd at Alltech, where he started 17th and finished in fifth. Huge run to the front, moving up 12 spots. So uh, uh, he did really well, as I said, at Florida Speed Weeks. And we'll see if he can continue that success with the Luke Soil Late Model Dirt Series as he chases Rookie of the Year now. But let me know what you guys make of what Clay Harris uh, had to say here about his announcement that he will no longer be running Hunt the Front, and instead he will be chasing the Luke Soil 8 Mile Dirt Series Rookie of the Year. Let me know in the comments below.